I mean, I get the appeal of like, because when I eat candies, I sometimes like to like Skittles, I'll take one of every color and then I'll pop them all in my mouth. Even though they're all the same flavor. All at the they're same not all the same flavor. flavor. They are not all, all the same they flavor. Are no, they're not. The same no. Flavor. Same with the like, green same apple with like is Starburst. very distinct. Mm-hmm. Like the like the red is very distinct. The it's purple the same like Starburst very jelly very distinct. Distinct. They're different listen, flavors. Listen, they're different. Listen, you These are call them very okay. distinct. They all taste like poison. They're all sugar. They're but all they're different types poison. No. All Skittles <laughs> should be M&M's. No, no, no. That's the true yeah. horror I'd story. Rather, Once unless... I reached into a bag of M&Ms and got a handful of Skittles. <laughs> that that's terrible. Scariest <laughs> that's thing terrible. of all. It's like no, Sprite, true, it's Sprite and water different. when you think it's water and it's Sprite or vice versa. Great. And you're like, ah, what is this? <laughs> <laughs> it's a little jarring. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, yeah, no, Sean, I'm not about the candy corns. I'm sorry. That's no, okay. Hey. No, I, I only want a limited... So I probably so we'll, <laughs> we'll we'll all get one small bag and split it between us. We'll mail it around and just yeah. Take <laughs> it's like when David and I tried Good and like Plenty that. for the first time, yeah, and that was are. like, yeah. okay, this flavor. What are those is, like? They're, they're like licorice, weird. but like, they're like a yeah, licorice. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah. they're coated in this weird coating Pinkin. that makes yeah. it yeah. taste like medicine. Yeah, like yes. oh, there's something herbal about. It. It's not bad. Yeah. yeah. I keep taking cool. more out of the box. Yeah, they I keep like being it, like, I don't like these. <laughs> but you, you try like, that's, and you only have like, that's I, I know that. Course. I know. You that only too. have like three, but you try one and you're like, mm, okay. but I've had like three what every day for like five days, and every time I'm like, these are bad. Ma- yeah, <laughs> but maybe that's how they get you. <laughs> they, they're doing something. One eternity later. And this anyway, is Borderless. <laughs> no. Welcome to our scary story hour. <laughs> Welcome the candy to Candy to Hour. Life. That's right, Candyland <laughs> with the Candyman. You know what? Good segue. <laughs> I'm no. so, I hate to say Don't it, guys. Say his name. I'd rather just talk about candy for the next hour. <laughs> okay. I, I know. I We're trying to avoid the inevitable. It's little. too early. We should have done this late at night because the That's sun's true. I mean, I well, it, turn looks, off yeah. it looks especially bad for you. <laughs> like, the rest of us could probably, like, pretend. Because I've like, got a jank yeah. one a post, curtain that isn't big enough for my little <laughs> window. <laughs> Target hey. stopped selling you know what? the curtain that I have. And I don't want to buy... I don't want to have to buy more curtains, and I also don't want to buy a curtain that doesn't match this one. So I'm Aww. just like, oh, well, so there can be horror like movies that are like during the day, curtains. like yeah. Midsummer, Midsommar. That was during mm. the day. Oh, so I have to be like psychologically scary. Yeah, so this is going to be psychologically scarring for everybody. I'm trying to think of other ones that like happen during the day that's it's unusual. Um, Where did Sean I feel go? Like there are other ones. I don't know. I'm here. You got too tired. Part. <laughs> I went to go find my um I went to go find a uh, flashlight. Oh, oh. Um, how do you hear how did you hear her if you didn't have your headphones on? Because I heard I have good ears. His, his volume no, is too loud. Because your volume is <laughs> too loud. And that's why I'm always picking up the background noise in your recordings. Oh no, my the volume, psychological horror. Has I already turned down my volume. <laughs> There's my the real horror, getting called 30. out for your work stuff on yep. a work call. Your <laughs> <laughs> volume's at a solid 30, thank you. Alrighty, y'all. <laughs> Let's Are ready? crack on. Let's yeah, okay. Yeah. so mine's not very long, but um, it was a, uh, oof, still sh- sends shivers down my spine thinking about it. Um, so, um, once upon a time, a long time ago, I was in high school. And, uh, it was my, (laughs) it was my senior year and, um, I had gone with some friends to like, I feel I was never one who stayed up super, super late at night. Um, but this was a particularly late night. We had all gone to, um, the drive-in movie theater, excuse me. And, uh, we stayed for both features. And so the second feature was over pretty late. Like it's, I'm going to say it's like, at least two. Yeah, no, 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 no. We're we're talking <laughs> like we're talking like two a.m. I mean, I am, but, but <laughs> I was. I always night. have been. <laughs> but yeah, but this night. night. <laughs> this night, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it was. So it was like two two thirty in the morning, and it was in the it was in the fall. So it was already like starting to get kind of cold and everything. And there was a there was a cold front blowing through. So the the wind was kind of howling and everything. And um, we had I was I had taken one of my um, friends home. 
and he lived in kind of an older neighborhood. There's a lot of like tall trees. So the October ambiance is there. Um, and we were, we were just sitting in the car talking. Um, it was me and two of my friends and, uh, and the, this cold front kind of started to come through and there was kind of some moisture in it and everything. And so the, the car started to, you know, when like the condensation forms over the windows on the outside. Mm-hmm. So it kind of just like kept forming and forming and forming and forming, and we weren't really noticing it. Um, but we kept hearing this, um, this kind of weird sound. It sort of sounded like an animal <clears throat> was like running around the car outside. And we were like, what is that? That sounds kind of weird. And we, then we kind of heard this like knocking on the back windshield. And we were like, what was that? That was really scary. But then we just kept talking. We we're like, nah, whatever. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. So you are truly a horror movie. Person. Yeah. Classic idiot. teen horror yeah. movie. Door. Move. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. So we were like, nah, 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 it'll be fine. So the condensation keeps like forming on the outside of the car and we're not, I mean, you know, we're talking, so I'm not paying attention to it, but it's eventually like, all you can see is literally the like orange glow of the street light outside, outside of the car. Well, all of a sudden I saw that it was kind of like out of the corner of my eye. I saw this shadow like flash across my windshield and it looked like something that was kind of like an animal, but it was like sort of, I mean, like cliche, but it looked like a Dementor kind of like shadow. It just like flashed across my windshield. And I thought that I was the only one who saw it. And so I looked at my friends and they both had these like panic stricken looks on their faces. (laughs) And I said, did y'all see that? And they were like, yeah and my friend was like we gotta go and I'm like well you can't go outside now like now it's like because we couldn't see what it was and so I turned on my car and I like hit the windshield wipers and got rid of some of the condensation and we couldn't see anything but it was anyway I don't know it was just weird like it was like we all had that like really chilling feeling where it was like it was really I don't know like we were all really cold it was big it was big it was yeah. like yeah I mean if it was I would say that it was like a dog or something like a really big dog, except that it was, it like swooshed right over my windshield, like in the, in the light of the street lamp. Yeah. And anyway, we were all and eventually a bit like we stayed in the car for a while. Cause it's like, yeah. we well, can't go out there. Like whenever it's still out there. And then eventually my friend just like ran in the house and I drove away. <laughs> but so we, we met like, who knows what it was. Did you ever have a friend again? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. It was okay. It was okay. He was, oh, we all lived. We Never all lived. It was, oh, okay, yeah. okay. What was Happily it? Is, ever after. Is, is it in Texas? What was it? El Chupacabra? <laughs> yeah, El right. Chupacabra. Isn't that Mexico? Yeah. <laughs> no, but there's all <laughs> the stories of it. <laughs> it's specifically in Mexico and well, not Texas. The, look, yeah. not it's in, close. Yeah, it's close. close. We like, share a border. Is, it is a supernatural creature. La Llorona. <laughs> it can also pop over to Texas. Look, yeah, if I'm a Mexican what? cryptid, oh, I'm not going to go oh, when... mess around in Texas where they're specifically racist against me. Or For what real? About, like, like, I am not. Uh, I'm not going over there. What about like a uh, wind, uh, windigo or windigo, however you want to say it? Uh, There's also that true, creature true. too. Could I'm be. thinking of like desert creatures that yeah. like lurk at that. night. I don't know. It was like a. It was what just. A, and it had that. It had that. <laughs> scariest <laughs> creature ever <laughs> that's what i think it was yeah it was a ghost of a jackalope, a jackalope. <laughs> Amazing. A ghost of a jackalope. not even a real one already dead. <laughs> oh, dear. Yeah. all right was, that was the scariest that was actually that was kind of good. you know suspenseful. Good, like, creature it was scary, creepy yeah because yeah. yeah. it was like it was one of those moments on. where everybody was like like we were all just like chilling and having a good time and like i thought i was the only one who saw it but like all three of us immediately were like like yeah. we saw yeah. it and then we just like felt that like really cold, like that wasn't like, ooh, it was something creepy. was off. Yeah. 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 At least the fun. street light stayed on. So, you know, it wasn't. That's true. Yeah. It yeah. yeah. True that. And... True that. Yeah. We ate a lot of if chocolate flickered, right after that. You'd have been screwed. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I can go next because mine's kind of short too. And it's cool. less, you know, it's kind of maybe. Sean, you're going last because yours is the best one. <laughs> you have a good okay. one. Yeah, yeah. You have a good one. Um, have a good one. And mine's less of like, I saw anything and more of like, I had a weird vibe in a room, but it's fine. So um, with those low expectations. Uh, so this People happened. People love it when you lower expectations. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I- I'm a champ at that. Yeah. yeah. Just walk in. Don't, hey, don't, don't get your Don't expect up. much. If you're listening to this, stop. <laughs> 
Yeah. I mean, you could keep going, but like, yeah. you know. <laughs> but just so you know, this isn't going to be exciting. <laughs> It'll be intriguing. Okay. Yes. yes. So this was when we were in the UK. And as Car and I have talked about, where sometimes you have like day trips with yourself. Because <laughs> like, yeah, it's fun to go with like friends or whatever. But sometimes you're like, I want to go do this thing. And I just want to go do it. I don't have to plan or do whatever, yeah. deal with other people. So I wanted to like have a touristy day, I think prior to going home for Christmas um, and go to the Tower of London. So I did that. And um, it was really fun. And like first got there and the guards are really cool. Because like, if you go at a certain time, they like lead you in tours around and you kind of get to go and like, like, like a little like a church area that you don't usually get to and so I spent like most of the day just kind of having like fun touristy times you know learn about all the history and it's got some gruesome history obviously um but like learning about the history and the ravens are really famous there we just done a play about them like a little short thing so I was like oh my gosh the ravens nerding out about birds <laughs> um and the crown jewels just having a grand old time and I'd even like to have like some ice cream so I remember I just had some ice cream and was watching the Ravens and just like be bopping along, having a great nerdy history touristy kind of day. And after I kind of like eat my ice cream <laughs> and then I went up to a particular tower and um, cause you can, they're not, you can't go to all of them but you can go to some of them. And so I hadn't gone up to this one yet. So I went up and um, as I went in, two people came out and just kind of the whole prelude of that, it was like, I was overall like, I mean, honestly, I was having a good day. It was fun. I was enjoying myself. Endorphins were up. I don't know, whatever. So, but like after the two people left and I walk into this particular room in this particular room in this tower, um, it was kind of weird because it was like, I don't know how quick it was. I guess it was kind of just like a, just a shift suddenly where an almost kind of like a weird weight on me if that makes any sense or like a weight kind of like I don't know if you get that feeling when you're sad where you feel like your heart is kind of like I don't know heavy like actually like heavier actually kind of weighed down or something like that so but all of a sudden my like bebop and happy good mood really really hardcore shifted and I hadn't done anything and I hadn't like there I hadn't read anything yet all I did was like walk into this room and it was weird it was like why do I suddenly feel like crying? <laughs> Cause that's how I, I felt like, like that weirdly emotional. Um, and so I was like, that's odd. And I just kind of walked around this room and I saw from one window, you can look out and you can see kind of the green lawn area where there were a lot of beheadings. And so I was like, oh, that's weird. Okay. And then I saw there were a bunch of carvings on the walls too. And there were, some of them were really, really intricate and really detailed. And I was like, oh, that's interesting. And I like go and find a plaque and still feeling this really weird feeling. And I read the plaque about this particular tower and, and people that were kept here. And in this particular room, it was basically like the solitary confinement room. And mm -hmm. so any prisoners that were kept there were kept there alone and for a really long time. Mm -hmm. But, and that's why they had all of those like carvings. And some of these carvings were super detailed and super intricate. So obvious, and then it kind of hit extra, like, gosh, someone had, god knows how long a really long time trapped in this tower with kind of nothing to do but that but with also a view of any executions that went going that were going on and it was just weird that I didn't know any of that I didn't read that plaque I didn't see anything when going into this room I just went from you know happy touristy day and then I walked into this room and it was just this weird emotional like weight suddenly and just the <laughs> fact that like, oh, something about this room, something about this place, I don't know. There was like this energy. There was like, there was a lot of, there was a lot of emotion that I think went on in that room. And it's still in some way, shape or form, I don't know, could, could be picked up on or had some kind of effect. It's not like I saw a ghost or anything, but yeah, it definitely had, it just, yeah, whether it's bad mojo or just just a lot of really, really intense emotion in one location, like which sometimes people associate with certain ghost stuff or theories behind why there might be ghosts. But yeah, it's not that I didn't see, it's weird that I didn't see anything, but it just was this weird emotional shift and weight. So that's my story. <laughs> wow. you know, Heavy. The, yeah. the two things that strike me about that is that like, it reminds me of, you know, Tori, like 
because I I felt that at like places not I haven't not there but you know other you go to like you know Auschwitz and you can be like oh but you know that going in the fact right that it, yeah like I've done I've been there yeah same yeah. you know kind of like you know what you're getting into so it's cool right. that, that happened when you didn't know that yet the yeah other thing exactly that struck <clears throat> is uh, all horror stories become infinitely scarier when you keep using the phrase bebop around <laughs> that was the mood though yeah. right. i went from bebop until like, like why am i crying yeah. and then all of a sudden oh sadness, sadness. it was weird bebop and just it was the phrase to encapsulate did you cry the, the, I didn't. I mean, and that's and like it not that I'm not an emotion. Yeah, yeah, I know. That's why I had to continually ask her. No yeah, like not that I'm appropriate I can, crying. I, I cry at like maybe the movies or whatever, but I don't cry in my own life. Like, why isn't that? Yeah, isn't she crying. She's like, like overly nah. emotional. <laughs> <laughs> Get me out of here. <laughs> well, she's from I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> 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 <Hard and spirit. laughs> yeah know. but no that is a fair point though because i'm not an overly emotional person like so the fact that like there was that like really weird intense feeling that also is a little jarring because i am mm. kind of logical or whatever with a lot of stuff it was like ooh, something's off and like mm. that was the other thing these emotions aren't my own and that was what was weird about it that's what yeah. maybe was especially jarring. That you weren't that, sad like, of like, oh, I just remember that sad thing that happened to me or something, right. but it was or, just oh, like, just read I'm sad and it's sad not like attached to anything. To anything mm. that's going on today or any feeling of my own. This is not my feeling. This is something maybe, about this room and this space. Maybe you were lonely because you went on a journey alone in London. You wanted to <laughs> No, I was having a, I was bebopping around, Sean. I was having a great Dismissed. time. <laughs> but a ghost that was in there clearly was like hey but i'm feeling sad mm. <laughs> so i'm gonna put that on you so yes. even see when people put their emotions on you even ghosts do it you don't have to take that burden that's right yeah that's right <laughs> toxic behavior can continue beyond the grave you don't have to put up with that that's right <laughs> we're all gonna damage. be dead someday and sean's still gonna be texting us day of like Hey, by the way, I got 12 sudden social engagements today. <laughs> and we're going to be like, that's toxic, Sean. It's been 700 years. We're all ghosts. We're all ghosts. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, what does guys. Time mean now? Not going to be able to, yeah. Sorry, man, you do you. <laughs> Not going to be able to make these random bypassers sad to me. <laughs> I got to go meet we with my other we ghosts. We were going to go haunting together. We're going to go haunting <laughs> together. Yeah. We'll have to wait till the next, no, next no, 100 no, years. No, it's not that you cancel. What you will do is you'll be like, I'll be there for the first 30 minutes. And then yeah. like, we are getting all the haunting we can get. Yeah, really quick in that first 30 minutes. We can't have any prolonged, like, no slow burn scares it. if Sean's yeah. involved. You got to, like, get him no. quick. Yep. Get him in there. Sean makes you carpe urgency, those urgency. DMs. Mm -hmm. Sean really makes you carpe the DMs. Yeah. That's right. That's right. <laughs> Even uh, as a ghost. <laughs> as a ghost. Sees, Love it. Sees the dead. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Baby, don't actually. That sounds like necrophilia. Um, <laughs> on that note, David, your story now. Yeah, yeah starting. What's starting David's story now? <laughs> so, um, I I did quite a bit of research amongst you know my friends and my my classmates from these days uh, about this story after I told it to you because it really was bothering me, and uh, that's just you know just dropping that now. I have asked quite a few people. I think I texted about 15 people and almost every- We still talk person. to 15 people from high school? That's this scary already. College. College. Oh, I'm still college. scared. And oh, okay. also I don't talk to them regular. You know how you we have like these things where you can send people messages? Hmm. You can mail them that electronically? Like, what? Yeah. Sir, like anyway. An electronic mail? <clears throat> yes. An e-mail? What, I mean, if you I want to be all trendy. I'm what trying I used to, is a truly a advanced trendy. system called a Facebook Messenger group chat. Oh, um, oh dang. That's next yes, level. Very advanced level. Yeah. Group um, chat with your college buddies. I was like, who remembers this? Um, so, it, at my school, at the College of Charleston, Charleston, first of all, being one of the most haunted places of all time, uh, being buried 
I mean, first of all, all of all of America is haunted because we built it on top of a, a you know, native burial ground. Um, <laughs> all of it before. It. All of it. it guys. Is. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> honestly. Uh, and then just the amount of stuff that's like Charleston was built up like around the slave trade. That's where ships were coming in. They probably just dumped any bodies in the ocean right there. Like, mm. in fact, I say probably like it. They dumped them further out to sea. They didn't wait till they got to the port. But yeah, that happened. Um, yeah. There That's... were executions all over Charleston, lynchings, all the good stuff. Then mm-hmm. on top of that, the Civil War re- completely razed the city. So very haunted. And lots of violence, yeah. Lots of violence, lots of atrocities. Uh, beautiful setting, you should think. <laughs> um, at the College of Charleston, uh, there... I, I believe this building has been completely torn down and is being rebuilt. Um, there was the theater building, the Simmons Art Center. And within the Simmons Art Center was um, the black box space, Theater 220. Um, it, this was the space that student theater was put on. So if you were, I don't know, let's make up a person, uh, David Soika, and never cast in the school shows, then you went to theater 220 and you did stuff there. Um, so I spent a lot of time in that space as did a lot of my friends. And one summer, um, the, we were, we were prepping the space. We had to get it all looking all nice because, uh, every summer Charleston hosts the Spoleto festival. Um, and also within that there's what they call Piccolo Spoleto, which is the localized version um so that you know yes we have all these professional actors from new york but also you know we live here so here's a show you can see Mm -hmm. um so we were prepping the space and getting it all cleaned up rehanging the lights and we were saying okay you know what there's tons of different levels of paint on these walls over the countless years this space has been used let's go and like drop some money on like proper primer and nice paint and all that and like we'll strip some of the paint off as well so we bought this stuff that um you can put on before you prime the walls that is supposed to like not strip the paint but just supposed to sort of like melt it a little so that it's smoother make it a little nicer um so we put that on we let it dry then we put on the primer we let that dry we left to go get lunch um came back and lining the walls of this space. The walls were still black. We were just painting them a newer coat of black, but something about the combination of this, you know, preparation substance for the walls and then the primer in a slightly less dark shade of black, countless silhouettes of bodies with their arms outstretched lined the walls as if they were all holding hands, uh, just stretching from one, from like the side of the door when you enter around all the walls to the other side of the door. Uh, Looking, some of them holding hands, some of them like breaking the pose and looking like this, very much reminiscent of uh, Hiroshima, like shadow bodies, you know? Mm. Um, And that was scary enough to come back to, but, the solution it seemed was simple enough. You know, we, we went to our advisor and we said, hey, what's going on with this? And he'd been at this school for a long time. And he said, oh, uh, something like 10 years ago, they did a show where they painted all the walls like that. Okay, yeah. And we said, okay, okay, okay. So we painted over it and we moved on with our lives. Spooky, not that big of a deal. I brought this story up and told you guys this is just like oh a spooky thing that happened not necessarily haunted and you asked for pictures so I went and I checked my phone I asked all my friends for pictures and what's strange is we seem to have entered a Bernstein Bernstein universe (laughs) within the group of people I texted I have like five people swearing that this was in fact not a real event. This entire story is an urban legend. 
I was in the room and I have people gaslighting me, telling me that this is an urban legend that did not occur. <laughs> Two other friends agree with me. Yes, this happened. I remember exactly it, the way you described it. That one even went so far as to say that some of them had weird painted teeth that were messed up that you could see in the silhouette. But they can't agree when it happened. <laughs> None of us have any pictures of this there are no pictures that exist of this occurring and mm. a significant number of people have said i've never heard of any of this happening but the you were sure that, they were of there. that happening in a theater department and just to, to say one it's an urban legend is like okay you know what you weren't here so you assume it was an urban legend right but the fact that there's so many people saying i never heard about this but I think it was four of us agreed. Yes, it happened. We were all in the room and we told everybody. We took pictures. The pictures are gone. None of us can agree when this story occurred. And we have various people telling us that it this didn't, didn't happen. happen. You're all variants. Yeah, something mm. happened. So somebody, the, the somebody's spooky mind part of the story is not that there were weird silhouettes on the wall. The spooky it's part is... Enough. Nobody Loki has the same story. Time, and here <laughs> we are dealing with the repercussions. Yeah, that's wow. odd. I like that. Uh, you have another good, like, just straight up, just creepy ghost story. But that I do like the weird Berenstein. <laughs> like, I, I'm still upset about the fact that one of my friends texted in the group chat and said, "This isn't real. It was an urban legend." And that's because uh, like, he was too traumatized. Me, too Whittington, traumatized. Uh, John blocked King, it. Dissociated. Else we're like, no, it happened. This we were is all a there. real event that occurred. Maybe it's like the it situation. We all left town and like certain people's memories got wiped. I don't know. Ooh, I mean, it's, it is can you bizarre. leave the town? Because I, I, I know what happened it. during the summer. <gasps> we can do that. Which explains why one person thought that it didn't happen because he was in a different country. So I'm like, you don't count. Your voice, your vote doesn't count. You yeah, that sounds country. like a legend if you're away or whatever. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> But the fact that so many people said, oh, I never even heard of this. It's like, no, I've told every single person I've ever met this. I walk into job interviews and I'm like, one time there were these creepy <laughs> figures on the wall. You, you know? want a creepy story? Can I yeah. work here? You go. Mm. <laughs> well, and that was the first thing that you said whenever you told us the story. You're like, because somebody's like, oh, do you have pictures? And you were like, yeah, let me pull them up. Like yeah, you were, you 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 were like, 100% yeah, 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 yeah. certain I, that it's like, yeah, I here are the pictures. So and then, certain. and I've, I've dug through every person who worked in that space is like Facebook. I've contacted everyone and different people say, oh, yeah. yeah, I remember that. And everyone says, I could swear I had pictures, but I cannot mm. find them. Weird. They deleted themselves. That is weird. They don't want to be found. The four of you that remember it are from the same universe. You were plugged yeah. in that's a, a that's different timeline. Time that's a timeline. quantum physics kind of uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> phenomenon there. <laughs> I like the different genres that we have in their creepy <laughs> stories are yeah, weird. Yeah. Sci-fi, and then <laughs> well, yeah, yeah. Yeah, now I need to know what David's other creepy story was that you just referred to, Anna. What's the other? Oh, that one's shorter. If you want to share it, David, you but should like, share oh, yeah. that, David. I mean, this one's less prepped, so it'll be more off the cuff. But um, again, while in Charleston, <clears throat> I was um, committing a sin and uh, sharing a bed with my at the time girlfriend. <laughs> oh, shame. <laughs> So yes. we already know that these two kids are in trouble as every boy. Yes, we, we've <laughs> welcomed sin into our homes. <laughs> um, so I, I always sleep facing the same side on my side. I, I sometimes I'll, sometimes I'll, you know, if I'm really struggling to sleep, I'll try on the other side, but I always fall asleep sleeping on my left shoulder. It's just the most comfortable position for me. Um, one night, I woke up in this apartment asleep on my right shoulder, which is, you know, a little strange, but not that bizarre. Um, and I sort of put myself up onto my shoulder, look at my girlfriend, and suddenly my body locked up. And a figure wearing a, like, tattered, old-style, like, not a modern suit, but like what you would imagine from 
a hundred years ago the style of suit to be. But as if someone was not, not someone from a hundred years ago teleported here, as if someone had been wearing this suit for a hundred years, a dirty, tattered suit walked over, loomed over my sleeping girlfriend while I am completely paralyzed and incapable of moving. I couldn't look up to look at the face, so I could only see up to about here. So I know it's a slender male figure. Headless male figure. Who knows? I couldn't look up. Couldn't. Uh, <laughs> Who knows there was a high-pitched was... ringing sound going on in my ears. And then I blinked and I was asleep on my left side the way I always am, facing the opposite direction. That's weird. Time jump. So That was uh, whenever you were plucked David... and put into this timeline. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. That's when it happened. Whoa. That was Loki. Was a oh. It was Loki. Just it was the horns. You, you saw like the, yeah, that's why you couldn't look up. I wasn't yeah. allowed to look at the horns. Yep. Mm-hmm. That's exactly what it was. It would have been too overwhelming. Oh, <laughs> I'm pretty sure. I'm so pretty sure there was, I'm sure there was a Loki <laughs> in the Loki show that was wearing an old timey suit. It wasn't the same look, of course, Five. but there, there was a suit one. No, there spoiler alert, spoiler alert. Spoiler alert, in the Loki oh. show, there's a Loki who wears a suit. Oh, okay. <laughs> there's a lot of Lokis. <laughs> okay, I think okay. you get that from the trailer. We'll yeah. be right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Disney Plus right, doesn't I need to us. watch the trailer like, still. Speaking um, of some now, scary stories. Sean, take us home. <laughs> oh, man. Well, now you've hyped it up. So, here we go. Uh, I did not verify this with anybody else because I, I just, it was just too visceral to be verified. <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it was it was real collective experience we had so okay when i was in high school uh I, what many people don't might not know is that i used to sing barbershop right <laughs> through high school and through college yeah i know a lot of people know that but you know <laughs> some some people who knows some people may not know that but i, I i'm proud of my barbershop roots yeah. so um this was a night where we were having chorus rehearsal for Sound of the Rockies down in Denver. And we were out of a rehearsal space. And so we had to ma- do have a makeshift space at an old church in downtown Denver, right? And I mean, like there's not a lot of old churches in downtown Denver, but like this particular old church was the one that had like a big space for us to rehearse in. And it looked like an old kind of like brick, like brick and mortar kind of like catholic church you know with the with the stained glass and just Mm -hmm. old wood everything right beautiful beautiful structure from the outside and some some of the inside so we're inside this old ass church and (laughs) (laughs) yep yep. and you know yeah we're like we're doing, doing our you know, thing I, every then... every campfire scary story starts with a kid turning the flashlight on and goes. So we were in this old ass church. <laughs> bebopping <laughs> around. Be like, bopping be around. around. <laughs> literally be bopping in in harmony. Literally <laughs> love it. Literally be bopping around. Two of you took the beats. Two of you took the bumps. <laughs> That's yep. right. I yeah yeah. And I took the bumps. You know. I was like. <laughs> but and like, so uh, we were on a break. And we're, you know, me and like six or seven other friends, you know, from high school, we were like, okay, let's, let's go explore this place. Let's walk around here, you know, and see, you know, what, what this church, what else, what else does this church look like? Mm -hmm. So we go, you know, into this, this, this area where there's a long hallway, you know, with some glass, stained glass that looks kind of like outside and then, uh, which is on the left. And then on the right were these doors that entered into the sanctuary, right? So you see down this long hallway, it doesn't look like there's anything at the end. It's all dark. Like it's just literally, literally street light and moonlight shining in through these windows. So we go to the to the right and we enter into the sanctuary, which just happened to be open. And you know, completely dark. And you can look up, and there was a balcony area in front of us with the uh uh like organ and then a balcony above our heads. And so we find some stairs and we go up, we go up these windy stairs to the balcony that was right above us. We're looking around, we're just kind of standing like, wow, you know, like it's a pretty big church. And across the way, one of my friends was like, hey, is somebody over there? And we're like, 
no who would who else, i mean who else would be here like maybe somebody from barbershop maybe and i look and and i'm like he, he's like you see right there there's somebody sitting in that chair and i swear i i saw somebody sitting in that chair and we were like oh yeah somebody's over this we we're like oh let's go over there and see you know what's on that other side we didn't know you can get up there we go over to that other side which literally took like a, two, a one minute trek back down the stairs and a half a second you know half a minute to the opposite side of the sanctuary up into the, the spiral staircase so we're going up this net this new staircase and this is where i did verify this part so this is where i got the last part mixed up when i told you the story mm. we're coming up the staircase going into this area where there's this uh, the other balcony area next where to someone the, was supposed to be sitting yeah where someone was supposed to be sitting next to the organ and in the threshold of this doorway was the doll with the head kind of like half ripped off, just like laying in the threshold of this doorway. And we're like, no, no, no. <laughs> well, something right, pass. something right, hard pass. And like, I look back at my friends and we're standing there. And they're like, well, should we go? And they're like, what the fuck is that? Like, why? What is this? <laughs> you know? And so. I was like, I don't know, maybe we should go, you know, and my friend uh, Brian and friend Mark, he, they were both like, whatever, let's just go. And Mark's girlfriend was down. So she's like, yeah, let's go. So we go, we all cross this threshold, all like seven of us. Mm -hmm. And <clears throat> some of us go to the right, some of us go to the left. And flanking. We're just kind of, wise. yeah, flanking. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> we do not see this person. There is nobody there nobody's okay. on the opposite side we look back at the word at the side we just came from and still nobody was over there either but we were like time out somebody was literally here and we would have seen them come down the stairs that we were just coming through because really literally there was only one way out and one way in and that was through the sanctuary so we would have seen them come mm -hmm. down these steps so we're like all right this is creepy something's going down Mm -hmm. and we're like we should probably go and the and literally as we thought maybe we should go i hear uh ah! and then i hear his girlfriend scream ah! and they just like and we like literally we didn't even we didn't even think twice we just booked it and mark's standing in the doorway not moving I would like, like, I'm trying to get the hell out of here. And so she didn't move. She was like, what? I was like, bah! And I was like, <laughs> di I'm like dipped out. I was like, pushed her out the way. I didn't need to. <laughs> you know? <laughs> it, just, it, was in the, it was literally in a split second. It wasn't like I thought about it. Maybe I should push this chick out the way. It was No, like, your instinct. Bah! Your, your, <laughs> your self-preservation took over. And you were like, exactly. we, I'm we, like you will not jump on the grenade way. for other people. You will get out of there and save yourself. Exactly. I like the defense. defense. I wasn't thinking, let me hit this woman in the face. But that implies but you also thinking. weren't thinking... Don't hit this woman in the face. <laughs> I didn't hit her in the face. I didn't hit her in the face. I didn't hit her in the face. No, I, I, you I, just I, shoved her so, to story, the ghost I, so that I'm you could like, run and get her. away. And I was like body checked it like, <laughs> bah! Like, like, get out of here. And I like, dip. It wasn't even step. pushing her forward. It was nope. chugging her to the I was side. Like, <laughs> she even like, her for the murderer. And she like slammed yeah. against like the corridor. She was like, bah! And I was like, <laughs> down the steps. We all and and look, I wasn't the only one because everybody was behind me. So if she wasn't directly behind me, she got pushed aside by a lot of people. So we run down these steps, right? No we're, we're sprinting down these steps and we jet back through the opposite side of the uh, sanctuary, back out into the long hallway, and we're standing there, we're like, "Holy shit! What did we just encounter here?" And like, and like, we're breathing all hard. And we're gathering everybody like, okay, are you okay? Like Mark, you, you're, you're Mark's girlfriend, are you okay? She's like, yeah, I'm fine. I'm like, sorry, Mark, had to push your girlfriend, but like, you know. And then we look around. Why you apologize to Mark? Why do you apologize to her? Because it was a girl, you know what I'm saying? No, I didn't apologize you to her. Apologize to the but person. then don't need apologies. I apologize to her, but then I also apologize to Women Mark. Women don't need girlfriend. apologies. I, you know, this is a different time. Chivalry no, clearly. was real back then. So uh, it's 2008. You know, acknowledge her. Yeah, we've grown. And him, you know. Excuse me, sir, for bad radio lady. You know what I mean? 
And so, <laughs> and so I like we're standing there, we're catching ourselves, and I turned to Becky. I'm like, oh man. Like, who, who, why did you scream? And she's like, because Brian. And she turned to go look at Brian and Brian wasn't there. Brian <laughs> wasn't there. And so we're all saying like, where's Brian? What happened to Brian? And <laughs> we're like, oh no. So we need to go, we need to figure out what happened to Brian. So we're like, maybe we go back inside the sanctuary. We go back inside, we're looking around. We're like, Brian, Brian. And we look through the stairwell where he had to have come from didn't see him, didn't see his shadow, didn't see nobody come through there. So then we go back out in the hallway and we're like, okay, well, Brian's not here. We got to go back to rehearsal because we're long past time now. And so we start making our way past, back, back to rehearsal and we look back and we see Brian down the other side of the hallway, this dark corridor, and he is trudging at us, just like coming at us. And, and we're like, Oh, like we're having a party, like the prodigal son. We're like, oh, he's here, Brian. Oh my gosh, Brian. And we're just like, come on, Brian. And I'm like, we go over to him, like, what happened to you? Where were you? And I'm like, Brian, are you okay? And he's like, Sean, F you, F you, Sean. And I was like, oh, he's like, no, Sean. And I went to go explain myself. I was like, but Brian, he's like, no, Sean. And you <laughs> I was like oh my gosh <laughs> you left him <laughs> you know we left him yeah we left and that was the whole we thing left we, him. That we left him I like him. he's yelling he was at you. Pissing me yeah, he was you led the charge you did you led the charge of self-preservation yeah. <laughs> so he was like you guys left me up there and so like with this you guys left me up there to die with that scary old man and we're like scary old man what are you talking about and he's like, you didn't see the old man? We're like, no, you screamed, but he ran. And so, oh. he, so he starts telling us that like, when he, tur- when he turned to go right, you know, and most of us other folks turned left, he came across, like he was going past some of the pews in the, in the uh, balcony. And he comes across this like random little door that was tucked in right like behind the steps. That must've been like a little, I don't know, a prayer room or something. But or then, anyway. stopped it. I don't know. I don't know. But he said he went around there. And the moment he stepped around there to look, the door opened and there was a man who was standing there. And he was like, with like serious face, what are you doing here? And Brian was like, uh, I, you know, not expecting to see this dude. Uh, well, I, he's like, you're not supposed to be here. And he just kept shaking his head. You're not supposed to be here. You're not supposed to be here. <laughs> and like, Brian was like, Fuck you! <laughs> 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 that <laughs> poor janitor is just trying to clean. Exactly. You know, he's like, come on, man, you're not supposed to be here. Like, there's like, okay, there's this elderly here. pastor from this <laughs> church. Exactly. But the way he described it, he's, but I, you know, I don't know if there was. Well, but none of you guys heard or saw this guy? No, Only he, none of us heard you guys were all no, together. None of us heard a door open. None of us heard anything. Brian was the only one who like stepped around the corner to see. But then his girl, but then when he screamed and like when he screamed, his girlfriend screamed. And so then everyone, and that started a chain reaction, chain reaction. of people running. You know what I mean? So yeah. we did so luckily, we had our wits about us and said, run first, act <laughs> later. You know? I mean, and, that's fair. You don't need to stay exactly. around. <laughs> no. Why why wait around? Well, this ain't no movie, you know? I'm gonna yeah. investigate. I love it. And so it's creepy. We, just leave. Just go. Yeah, just leave. Just that. run. So, <laughs> so that concludes the 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 scary church story. We go back Epic. to the barbershop and Epic. And we were never the same. Yeah. <laughs> your your group, yeah, camaraderie was tested that night. Yeah. It sure was. It's sort of it makes me think of I growing up in Lubbock, Texas, you weather multiple tornadoes every year. That's just a mm. common part of life. And my whenever I was in school. My mom always taught me like, you know, if there's ever a tornado and you have to get into the shelter and everything, like you just do what the teachers say to do. Don't worry about me and daddy because wherever we are, like we'll be getting into shelter too. So in an emergency, like you've got to look after yourself. Don't worry about, you know, try like, we'll be get, we'll be being safe too. So that that's Sean's mentality in any emergency yes. situation, like put your own you, air, you put your on. own air mask <laughs> on <laughs> first. <laughs> but also get out of there. Get out of there. You does that kid's going to just 
We shove them out of the way because you no. got to breathe. <laughs> did he describe what this old man looked like? Oh yeah. He just said he he just said he did actually, and I think it w- was less janitory, more priesty, mm. like okay, black like robe, that, yeah, yeah, kind of thing. But he said that there was like a weird red glowing light, like a red like light behind him, like in the room, and I was, and that I don't know, I don't know how much of that was embellishment or whatnot, but like. Yeah. He said he opened the door, there was this red like kind of light in this man who was, you're not supposed to be here. You're not supposed to be. But he wasn't like yelling at him. He was just like. He was just quiet. The, the repetition. Yeah. yeah. It's a little creepy. The repetition was creepy. Yeah. So I love the like, juxtaposition of yeah. y'all being like, Brian. <laughs> Brian being like, how dare you? <laughs> I love that you guys so keep mad. defending Sean's decision to body check <laughs> Oh, I'm check mocking a woman it. I, no, I think it's out horrible. Of a church. I am the irony is sick. I'm sorry if that's not clear. If y'all are ever in my way in a situation, no, like we this, know Sean. Get out the way. Get out the way. Count on Just you. move. Don't stand there. <laughs> this ain't a movie. How about you show us? Maybe she didn't know to run. It's the same <laughs> as when we were on Don't that white run. water rafting. And Sean, we're supposed to go forward into the raft. That's true. Forward into the raft. And I Sean's like, <laughs> okay, pushes backwards. Into <laughs> Kayla. Into our friend Kayla. Nearly knocked yeah. her off the raft. I did. Out for I, number one I, over here, Sean. I thought that I, you know, I thought that our guide was messing with us again. So I was like, oh. uh-uh, he's not going to get me. And so I laid back. <laughs> no, that was our situation. And I realized that it was the wrong situation. I, I apologize to Kayla. Kayla, if you're listening, I'm still sorry for that. You know, what was our squids? What was, not squids. What was it? The shrubs. Mountaintop shrubs. Mountaintop shrubs. Love it. Mountaintop shrubs. Shrubs forever. Love it. Forever. <laughs> but yes, I, I am a, I will, I will look out for number one and maybe two. If yeah. people are running, I'll look out for everybody. But right. uh-huh. you, if you ain't got nowhere to go and somebody is, you know, the perpetrator's coming. You're you gonna get lost. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna be left behind. <laughs> I'm like, I what it. kind of? I was like, what's Sean's alignment? I don't know. It's just <laughs> self-preservation, selfishness. Yeah, neutral, neutral. <laughs> neutral. Neutral. Sean's looking out for number one over here. <laughs> Love it. That's right. Uh, a murderer is coming after Sean and Lucy, and Lucy doesn't immediately start running. Sean's like, she should have started running. <laughs> like, half me would think. And I'd be like, dang it, she should have ran. And then I would turn back around, probably get killed. And I, knowing that I'm about to get killed, I'm like, damn it. More angry at the fact that she didn't run and then I got killed. You have to go Wait, and so try you, and you go her. back out of a sense of like spite and not even like, hey, that's my <laughs> wife. I got to go save her. You're kind of like, ah, oh, this bitch. Oh, damn it. Why? Why? You should have run. She, she knows better. We've had just this conversation. Next time, Sean, when scary happens, just yell, run. And that way everyone knows what to do. And then you'll have done that. And then if, if we don't, if we're all in some corridor and you yell run and we don't See, do it, Sean then it's on us. other people to run though, us. because then all the people who aren't running are going to slow down the ghost, the ghost priest. <laughs> I do want people to run. I want people to run. But, but you Everybody know, that run. requires another level of thinking. That's that requires true. a level of like, well, that's your, okay. So that's, your run. that's your challenge you know for your next yeah. ghostly encounter okay. to, to at least shout one word. Go. Run. Yeah. Go. Run. Whatever. <laughs> ah. <Ooh. laughs> <laughs> 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 ah. 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 Move them way. Exactly. Get out of the wall. You hear the sound of Sean Dale crying the while rapidly moving towards you. Run. Yeah. Run. Exactly. There's a lot of warning signs before you decide to run. Sean has the Doppler effect going. Run. Run. Oh, man. Okay. Next story. Love it. Cool, cool, cool. Awesome.